Hey everybody, this is Pablo. And I'm Gabe. And in this episode of Anatomy of a Mattress, we are gonna dissect the Heirloom Platinum Sequoia Mattress. Let's go. We've had several people ask us, have we done an Heirloom yet? I said, no, nope, we have not done an Heirloom, but now we can say we have an Heirloom. So I love the I love the heirloom beds. I'm a fan of the heirloom look. I yeah. Would say they've always had this just a, a nice, clean, luxurious mm -hmm. look. So I've always been a fan of the look, the feel. They also had a pretty good feel from what I've experienced too. They've always been more on the comfortable side, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, but I've never taken one apart. I know a little bit about what's inside it, but not too much. And I know they've had a good reputation over the years. You know, and they're considered more of a luxury line. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. They're definitely on the higher level luxury line. Like this one. What's the story on this one? Gabe. Yeah, so a customer had this. They actually bought it in 2015, so they've had it for a while, and it's still in. You can see, so it's in pretty good shape. And again, I like the look. It was a little too. It became too firm for them, too right? Firm. So the, the comfort has changed, and like, oh, they're starting to get some pressure points. But our bodies change. You know, that's what eight years. So yeah, well, um, dang, eight years ago, 2015 is eight years ago. Wow. Yeah. So you know, that's that was a deal. They needed to go softer, and um, this. This wasn't providing that pressure relief for them. Yeah, it just wasn't doing it for them anymore. They, they yeah. liked it for, for a few years and now they mm -hmm. just don't. It's just not as comfortable as, as it once was. But it doesn't mean it's a bad mattress. Yeah. The retail on these now, you can find an heirloom on a queen size anywhere from like three to six, three to seven thousand on a king anywhere for about four to eight thousand that I've seen on average. So they're definitely on the higher level as far as price point goes. Mm -hmm. Not super luxury, but I would still consider them on the luxury line. At that price point, I'm gonna expect them to have really good quality materials inside the bed. Oh, know? for sure. I'm not yeah. gonna settle for just any regular memory foam or poly foam or convoluted foam. So I'm hoping for that, mm -hmm. but we'll see. Yeah. So let's, let's open this up, let's take it apart. Let's see how this heirloom looks on the inside. All right, so let me just go over the thickness, the depth of the mattress. So most people are gonna measure it this way. They're gonna say, ah, uh, it's about 13 inches, but it's not the proper way to do it. You get your flat edge, put it on there, get your measuring tape, and then you go right to that bottom. So you're at, man, what about 14 and a half inches? Yeah, that's a yeah. pretty good yeah. thickness mattress. So. That's how thick this uh, this mattress is, 14 and a half inches, at least how it is now. Maybe it was a little bit thicker when it was brand new, but 14 thickness, inches. thickness does not equate to quality, as we know. Right. Where a lot of times I wouldn't I would probably stay away from going something too thick. Right. It's not insanely thick. Yeah. So we got about a 14 and a half, 15 inch mattress thickness wise. Mm -hmm. And then here, let's go just on the outside. So here's a little just close up. I like the handles. The handles are are great yeah nice and sturdy yeah these you know? are actually really strong handles i am some handles are on the cheaper side the way they sew them in these are actually really good how you can see they're quilted into the the border i am a fan the quilting it looks like it has the appearance of a uh of a tufting right so people would see it in the store and like oh that's a nice tufted mattress is it tufted though but it's not it is what's called tack and jump so you see how the, the quilting is like from you know jumps from spot to spot they call it a tack and jump so that's a little mattressology 101 for you little little tidbit yeah if it was quilting you wouldn't be able to you know pull it from and the yeah right. i mean or if it was, if it was uh tufted and the, the ticking on this is a very thick ticking i like it. it's a heavier weight ticking which does feel very good mm -hmm. you know and it's just that's going to give you a little bit more quality more durability and it's just going to give you a little bit more cushion but yeah. it does have a you know nice heavyweight quality. But I would say probably 400 gram weight on the on the ticking, which is a little mattress nerd stuff. All right, so let's just kind of get a. Every mattress is going to have some sort of body impressions, you know, over time, and that's just the natural settling of the foam and the fiber. You know, I've even seen these. I knew a guy that sold 80 to 100 thousand dollar mattresses, and even those beds got body impressions. So mm -hmm. this is not insane, not too bad. Okay, now let's open this up, see what's inside. Okay, so now we're gonna see what's inside this bed. Gabe, okay, you got the blade. Got the blade, I'll start from blade. right here. Go on my side, all right, let me see. You got that part, I'll go from the top. All right. For Shaq, let's see, man. All right, here you go. Here, dude, look at these scissors ain't working. So now first off, what you can see is that it is a foam encased, okay. right? This is a foam encased edge support, mm -hmm. which in the past videos, we've gone over different edge supports and foam encasement on it. So. 
if you've seen any of our videos, I'm not a huge fan of foam encasement. Yeah. yeah. That was really big. I mean, still a lot of major companies are still doing the foam mm -hmm. encasement, which it does on the showroom. It's nice because shopping for mattresses and you feel the edge. It has that nice sturdy edge. It feels good, but- And the looks of it too, right? It's nice clean. Yeah, it's a clean look. But over time, what I found is the foam around it tends to buckle over time and get a little bit weaker. I'm not a huge fan, it's not bad, but I prefer going edge to edge with coils. That's just- Yeah. Our opinion. Our opinion, yeah. It's been an edge to edge coil. I'm gonna go and open this up. Go for it. It's a little bit tougher to do with the foam around it. It's a lot of, a lot of foam in there. All right. All right, that was a lot of hard work opening up this dang mattress. But um, okay, so we got it open, at least most of it. Let's go from the top down. We'll go from the from the top down. Okay. We already talked about the ticking. So this is the panel of the mattress. And how thick is this panel, Gabe? So the panel. It's a nice plush panel. So the panel thickness. About two is, inches, it looks like. Well, that's the cushion, yeah. And then you got the, the nice Dacron fiber feel. Mm -hmm. So close, almost a two and a half, three inch panel, you know, pillow top. Oh, that's just the panel. So that's a nice that's plush panel. panel. And what we're looking at in material, just, just regular poly foam. Huh? Yeah. It's convoluted poly foam on it. Okay. It's not memory foam. Definitely no, feels on the soft side. Foam. That's in the panel. And then under, right underneath it. So this, that, we're still in the pillow top. This is yep. still the pillow top. And then the, uh, or the Euro top, right? Yeah. And then the uh, underneath that is, it's not memory foam. It's another foam. And that is called two inches. So this is very similar we we were using this on one of our mattresses at least a foam very similar to this either called flow foam or hypergel foam okay open this up a bit so we can see yeah this is what we're looking at about you said about two inches about two inches yeah and the pillow top so we're looking about a two two and a half inch panel and then about another two inch pillow top we're looking about four inch total mm -hmm. top thickness yeah which is that's, that is a nice plush feel you know Okay, so right underneath the pillow top is... You got some more foam. It's a little bit firmer, right? It goes, yeah. goes firmer. And so this pinkish one is an inch. Yep, it's an inch. So you got an inch in that. And then... Oh, close. You got about an inch, you said. There. So you got about there you an go. inch in there. But And then underneath that, you've got... Then you got your memory foam, you know? So there's memory foam underneath it. And that's like, what, a quarter? You're about like a quarter of an inch of memory foam. What is that? So you got an inch, four, what was it? Four and a half, five and a half, almost six in close, just under six inches of foam. Yeah. You know, five, yeah, about five, five and a half inches of foam. And then we got the coils. Okay. Um, so you got the foam case and that foam case. Now this is the foot of the bed. So it's going to be typically bigger at the foot of the bed, which is about four and a half inches. Most people would tend to sit more at the foot of the bed. Yeah. And then on the side, it's going to be um, three. Yeah. Three inches at the side. To, well, one alternative is to do edge to edge coil where the coils go all the way mm -hmm. there. And now here's, this is interesting what they did right here. So we got these foam pieces that are inserted in just between these guys, like right in here, like. Yeah, it's like, like what, 12, by 12 in? Yeah, 12 by 12. Right now, from I've seen in the past that this is makes, just supposed to add stability to the coils and a little bit more support and less motion by adding these. But what I find just interesting is that they only did it right here. I mean, yeah. I looked, we've opened it up and looked more and I couldn't find it in any other part of the bed except in this little spot. Now, either A, someone got lazy and just didn't do the whole thing, or B, they feel that most people are only gonna sit in this 12 by 12 spot. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they would just do it right here. I just found it very interesting. I've, we've done videos on coil types, you know, where you have the, the, strong, the, the line of coils, which it's good for motion separation. Sometimes it can lean, like the coils can lean or move a little bit and take away some of that stability. Where our coils, it really doesn't need this. The one that we use in our store or in our mattresses is, because we use a quad coil, you know, they come in four packs. So they do have a bit more stability than a pocketed coil with, that's in a straight line, you know? Mm -hmm. What's the gauge that we're looking at on the on the coils? So yeah, let's, so this coil. let's open up the, kind of see what the, how thick this coil is, so. What are you gonna guess? I am going to guess 14. That's my You're close, because I, I already I already checked it out, so I already know. Well, let's see if Pablo's right. This is Gabe's favorite little toy right. that he plays with. Uh, nope, not a 14 won't fit. It's a 13 gauge. This is a 13, no, are you sure it's 13 yeah, gauge? Yeah, 13, yeah. This is a 13 gauge, it's a pretty firm coil. Yeah. So, I mean, I believe this Might was... be a 13 and a half, but that's, you know, fits in the 13. 
Yeah, yeah, this, this is still on the thicker side of the coil. Now remember, the lower the number, the thicker the coil. Yeah, this the wire, wire is going to be the thicker. The higher the number, the thinner the wire. So 13, anywhere in the 13s, I consider more on the thicker side or firmer side of things. It's a beautiful mattress. The coils, they don't shrink in, so that's good. They do stay in that, they do stay tight inside there, but it's a lot of foam. It is. It's, I'm a little bit underwhelmed, I would say, just by the materials that are used. For the price point that I know that these guys command, I don't know the exact price on this one. This Sequoia, I believe Sit and Sleep sold this several years ago. That's what, from what I found. I um, know exactly what the retail price on this one. But if it's in the fours, even in the high three, I, I do... I just, in my opinion, yeah, I would say... I would expect that some latex to have been in there, right? You know? The good thing is, though, as you saw, there wasn't deep valleys yeah. and impressions. So they are, I would imagine, they're using pretty good quality foam. You know? Foam, yes. Not all foam is created equal. Yeah. A lot of foam, or the quality of the foam is dependent on the density of the foam. Like how the weight of the foam. Mm -hmm. You know, you can have two foams that actually feel the same, but one's a one pound and one's a two pound. That two pound is going to greatly outlast yeah that one pound foam and it's gonna and that's i would say i'll give them that they do i'll give them the benefit of that that is like a higher quality foam yeah um one thing we need to do is on the bottom what's underneath these coils like let's just look underneath these coils so underneath the coils you got some more foam let's see if i can man you're probably looking at yeah, about a yeah it's all glued yeah it's all glued to keep it but i would say it's a, probably about another inch on the bottom yeah I mean, here it is right here right yeah so just poly foam Another inch on the polyfoam bottom. Yeah, and what that's what that is doing is they're they're gluing, yeah, it's an inch coils to the bottom of or to the to the uh, um, the foam that's at the bottom, and just to keep it from again shrinking, right? Yeah, and just gives it more stability where it doesn't shift around. Yeah, and it adds to the height of it, but that's I don't think that's necessarily what they're trying to do is add to the height. It's just because that's what you would do on a foam in case. Yeah, some companies would just add another layer on the bottom just to make it a higher profile and mm -hmm. give it a little bit more perceived value. These guys, I don't believe, needed to do that. Yeah, yeah. Did you lay down on it? Did you see how the firmness? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, let's it was. Do, uh, let's do it real quick. Right. Come on, got to keep tradition. But just to get the good, just to get the firmness idea yeah. of it. So Remember, the firmness is something that is very subjective. Like what might be firm for Gabe might be soft for the next person. But you can at least get an idea. What do you say? Yeah. Just by my hand, the hand test, which yeah. is really very little. No, it's it's uh it's firmer than what I would like. Yeah. You know, for, for me. But and I can see why the customer was saying that it feels too firm. A little softness on the top, but then you can feel that underneath you, it's got that firmer support. That's where the 13 gauge comes into. Yeah. Yes, I believe this was probably one of the a cushion firm or a pillow top firm type feel where you got that nice cushion softness on the top, but you have that deep down harder, firmer support underneath. And the 13 or 13 and a half gauge coils make sense. Yeah. You know, and that could play a big factor when it comes to the feel of the mattress. Not just deep down support, but also it aff everything affects everything else in the mattress. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you guys, well, that's heirloom. We finally got an heirloom. Hopefully we get another heirloom because we'll do another video if we get another heirloom. If you have any other videos that mattresses that you want us to pick apart, let us know. And please subscribe to our channel. That really helps us out. Give us some thumbs up. If you have any questions, put them in the comments or give us give our store a call. And yeah, yeah. Else, anything I miss? Anything else? No, mattress shopping guide. You're on your journey. Get your mattress shopping guide. You know, yes. downloading that from the link. But otherwise, yeah, give us a call if you have any questions. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Sleep well.